Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in today's tutorial on natural language processing with Spacey, we're trying to see how to work with our name entity recognizer, how to train our name entity recognizer, and how to update it and how to add new entities to it, right? So now let's see how to do that first of all. So the main idea is that name entity recognizer is to use to help us to recognize entities in a test, right? To use to give labeled classes to a particular test in contest. So we'll be trying to see how to do to update our NER. So first of all, the main idea is to load the model. So in loading the model, you can either load your pre-existing model with this. And then in that case, if you load a pre-existing model or the one that is already you are using, you can just disable the pipeline, right? The existing pipeline with NLP.disable pipes. Or you can use PC.blank to work with a fresh one, right? In that case, you have to add a banana entity of another to the pipeline. Okay, so after that, you are supposed to shuffle it and iterate over it. And in every iteration, you have to update the model so that you're able to add it to the NER model, right? Then you have to save the model, then you can test it. So now let's see how to do that. So, first of all, these are the packages that you're using. So, from Plaque, Plaque is a wrapper over ACPAS. You may not use it, but you can use it if you're using the function. Then, random to do help us with the shuffling. This shuffling that you want to do. Then the part is to help us to save it to a particular part, right? And then the spacey for the normal space stuff. And then this TKDM is for our loading. So using the TKDM, you can use it or you cannot, just to help us with our loading bar, right? That loading bar to make it more nicer. Okay, so now let's load it and see. Okay, perfect. So let's first of all try something about what name entity recognition is like. So this is going to be our first example. So I'm going to call it as NLP1 so that we don't miss it. Then spacey dot load here, right? Dot load here, right? That is the first one to do. So we just do the normal one like that. Okay. Now let's try the simple example. I'm going to call it a doc one. It's going to be our first example, and I'm going to keep it as something simple so that you to know what it is so i'm going to give you something like who was kofi annan right kofi annan the former kofi annan right so if i go through this and i check through this particular test you want to know the kind of entities inside this so you can just go with for token in docs docs one dot ent right this is for entities then we're going to print these things there right so let's go to print then this so it's going to look through it and give us the entity so that is an explanation of what it is so it's giving us a particular entity that Kofi Annan is a person one thing about trying to update your name entity recognizer that you need to define the start character and then the end character which is very very important that is what is going to help us with our training data without it you are supposed to use maybe test recognizer or categorizer or something different but if you want to use work with the NER, you need to define this one in your training data set so that it become better, right? So that is the purpose of this one. So we're starting from 8 and then to 18, which is these ones. So the character here is, the entity here is person. Okay, that is one. So let's try another example, another simple example and see how it's going to be. We're going to call it a two words. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a something simple like who is, who is Steve Jobs, right? Steve Jobs. This I made a mistake anyway. Let's move on to two. Let's make it two and then let's run the same thing again on this. And then we're going to run it and see what it's going to give us. So you see that this one has also given us a whole different set. So Steve Jobs 770. So it's going to recognize that Steve Jobs and then this is a person. So that is one way. So in case you want to give a different name, something like totally different. You can also use the same thing to work. So now we'll be trying to build a training data set with all these things that we have done here, which is very important. So these things are important. So we're using it in our training data set. So this is a sample of our training data set, which is this one. Right, so training data set is going to have our test and then the entities, which we got from here, right? These entities that we had. That's what we have placed in here. So this is the start character and then the end character and the entity. So we have been able to do that. So let me load that one. Now you have to do it. So the other one with the plaque, as I said, the plaque is a wrapper around at pass, right? So it's this this one you can use it, you can use it or you can not use it. This is to help us with uh, wrapping your at pass for the model, but you can use this one or not if you want. But 
okay but let's define our own so we'll be using parts then we'll be giving a location which is going to be here let's give this as a location here and then remember this is windows so we we'll do it double 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 backslash right this is where i want to save my particular model to be you can save it in your, your part according to your where your model is and i'll save it perfect now that's it so i've made that as 100 you can make it as any number that you want this is how the number of iterations or shuffling wanted to do then let's load the model so as i was saying you can load the model you can omit this one if you want you can go without this and then start straight away with nlp space blank right that is if you are using a blank one but to avoid errors you can also use this one that is if it is non if if the model which is this model which is none already is not none then load the original existing one but if it is none then you give us a blank one right so that is going to be the second thing we are going to load the model and then the next one is that you see that it has created a blank en model right so that means that you could have omitted this and then only this one work because you are working on a blank en model because our model has been set to none so if you have a pre-existing model you can just supply that one here so that it will run with this one instead of running with this one then let's set up the pipeline so for setting up the pip pipeline it's quite simple because we use a blank one we have to create a pipeline and then add to it right that is the purpose of this so we are just going to create a built-in uh, pipeline right with this one so if the ner is not in the nlp pipelines then you create a new one and then you add it to the original one original one which you have created otherwise you do the other opposite so comment as self-exploratory so now we have set the pipeline and the next thing we're supposed to do is we have to train our organizer so to, to train our organizer name and recognition is trying to assign labels right to predefined entities so like you're trying to give entities inside them trying to give them labels that this entity belongs to this particular group so that's why you're supposed to add labels and then annotate them then you still work with the pipes and go with begin training so this is quite simple so you can just start it for dash then annotations in training that this one can be anything right you can just name it anyhow this is just to add the labels so for ent in letter dot get entities then you add it you add a label the particular label that you want then this is about creating of the pipes you get the names of other pipes to disable them during training as i said sorry as i said here that you're supposed to sometimes disable the pipes right when you are working with existing model so we will disable the pipes then we move through and iterate through them with random which is coming from normal python and we, we shuffle or loop through them we count the losses and then we can test it so this tqdm is just to help us you can omit this one and it's still going to work at the same way but you are just bringing it so that you will be able to see that it is loaded when it's training you to see the loading and after shuffling and then randomizing it or iterating through your data you're going to update on every iteration till you finish it so that's why you're going to count the load that's how to train it just like the normal machine learning stuff you're going to count the losses so let's start with this so to start doing it right perfect so to, to start allocating it to, to take some time to do that so let's take time as it goes so that's finished training our data set which is quite interesting so this is the losses and then this one depends on how large your data set is so now let's test our train model so for test in this right in our training data the one that we had we're going to pass it through our nlp objects we want to check the entities the test and then the labels then we're going to do the same thing for the token so this one is the same as this entity type the same similar to this label right then i will be referring, referring to the iob stuff okay so now let's move on to the below we have below and then iob right, so we just go straight away so perfect so that that's giving us the same almost the same thing as the previous one with the labels right so this is Kofi Annan and a label and then the type there's there's no type here right and then the IOB right two two and then it's working perfectly okay so now let's see how to save this particular model so we go back to this so for if output is not none right then output so this one we can just go back to the initial one that we had we can 
either put it as back as output as a output right because we initially we set it at that particular part so we can just put in this want or you can supply your part here then you are going to save it to this right to nlp to this i'm going to save it to that particular directory so let's check it and see it doesn't give us any error perfect so that's saved a particular model to our this particular directory so if you check it i hope it's there okay i think yeah so it just saved all of them here right inside this place and then the tokenizer with the ner the vocab and then the tokenizer okay so now so we can test that particular stuff here again so to test it just go back again let me uncomment this and apply it on our data set to test and see where it is whether it's going to give us the same thing so it's just almost the same thing that we are going to be doing so this is not going to be nlp2 yeah, nlp2 so that this one is trying to load a new one a new nlp object you are creating a new nlp object you are not using the old one you are rather loading from the one we trained to be able to use it to see whether it's going to work right so that is why this one is nlp2 and we are loading from that particular directory which was this place that was saved so loading from that perfect now it's going to work perfectly without any errors giving us almost the same results like our training data set that means that we have been able to update our training model right so thank you for watching this tutorial and then please don't forget to subscribe if you have a better way of doing this you can let us know and then stay tuned for the other aspect of updating it stay blessed